What we know from Brazil, China, uh, Latin America is that consumers and audiences, when they want, have leisure time, they want to use it in a way which is engaging and high quality. Uh, and of course, Britain is famous for making great quality television. It's one of those things by hook or crook, accident in history, we have turned out to be world class in terms of making television programmes. Uh, and there's a growing market and appetite and hunger for content. How you get it is it might be through a telly or a phone or it doesn't really matter. The thing is when people have leisure time, they want to do something that actually engages them, entertains them, stimulates them. And that's part of our tradition. That's actually what we do brilliantly in the UK. So uh, uh, I've been asked this question by quite a lot of people. They say, oh, it's a bubble. It's all going to burst one day. And I go, no, not, not really. Because as people buy more tellies and want more things, they go to the people who can make it for them. Like, so uh, I, I'm just back from China. I was there last year. Uh, I was pretty struck by how many German-made cars were being driven down on the roads. So they maybe started off with pretty poor cars um, and Chinese cars or imported cars. But as their economies developed, as they, as they become more affluent, they go for better quality. They want a better car. And the conversations we were having with Chinese broadcasters was they know quite a lot of their programming isn't very good and they want better quality. They either want to buy it or they want to contract us to make it for them. So, so I think that's, that's the world we're in. And, and generally, I think the, if you're in the British television industry, um, the world is literally our oyster.